Now, basically, there's a wish and also kind of a mega trend, I would say, um, to make batteries more sustainable. Um, that means uh, we should use um, uh, raw materials which are abundant, non-toxic, cheap, uh, also uh, recyclable. And um, one uh, of these activities is directed towards replacing the lithium, which is shuttling between the electrodes by other more abundant elements, such as sodium uh, ions or magnesium ions or calcium ions. Calcium has a, has a particular role uh, in this set because it is, from its electrochemical potential, it is closest to lithium. That means um, you could, in principle, expect um, that um, calcium batteries um, are, will deliver high voltage. And this is one of the basic advantages of this system. Uh, let's talk about the calcium uh, anode, which is uh, less attractive, unfortunately, because um, calcium behaves a little bit like a diva uh, electrochemically. Uh, it passivates easily. Um, that means it doesn't let pass uh, the ions uh, for storage. When you charge the system, then calcium should be plated at the anode. And, and the calcium um, yeah, blocks these processes. So it is, it is not really working well. And, and we found that if you uh, mix it with an, uh, another element, such as tin, um, then suddenly the whole thing starts to work very easily without uh, or with very low energetic barriers and we can strip and plate the calcium yeah, many times, thousands of times. Uh, basically, the, the idea of um, alloying uh, one of those metals uh, with another element uh, for um, reducing some energetic barriers is not new. Um, however, uh, in that case, the calcium tin system is definitely new. So um, we uh, actually try to um, make a, a, a calcium alloy beforehand and use that. Um, uh, as an anode, but then it turned out that the system reorganizes itself and uh, forms another more stable uh, compound in the metallic compound. And, and that is the one which really works well and is embedded um, uh, in, in, in such another matrix. And um, uh, surprisingly, if we, if we uh, start with the system which is actually turning out to be the most stable one. If we prepare that from the start and use it, the results are not so good. <laughs> so obviously, uh, you need both. You need um, this compound uh, and you need the matrix uh, that is formed around it, and then it works. Uh, so we were hoping uh, that uh, we, we come out with uh, much uh, improved uh, behavior of that system and uh, not, not only the recyclability but also the lowerage of the, um, of the kinetic barriers. Um, however, we, we did not expect um, that it worked so well because we, we came up with a, with a battery that lasts 5,000 cycles. And if you look in the literature, before typically people were publishing, say, 50 cycles, if it worked well. Uh, so th this is really um, a kind of a breakthrough. Yeah? And um, it actually confirms um, other findings uh, from other people on different systems, so that this, uh, this, this way of, of alloying uh, one of those critical candidates with another element um, yeah, allows much, much better uh, practical uh, uh, properties. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, and the next time I see them in the laboratory, um, this is just because um, this is only a first step.
Yeah. So um, imagine if if you do research on batteries, uh, say on lithium-ion battery, and and you want to improve the electrolyte or the cathode, then you can go. Uh, to your cupboard, open it, and can take out a standard material where you know that works well. You know? And then you can combine it with your new material. And you can build a battery from a tool set uh, which is quite reliable already. Um, in, in such new systems, like the calcium uh, battery, this doesn't exist. You know? So we, we now have maybe a well-working uh, anode, but we still do not have a well-working cathode. Yeah. In, in that particular example, we used an organic polymer, a uh, redox polymer, which works surprisingly well, but not um, so, so well that you, that you would say, okay, we can put that in a, in a commercial system tomorrow. Uh, so there are still a lot of things to do, uh, do research also on the interaction of the electrode materials with the electrolyte. This is another critical uh, element. And if we have everything together, then maybe in a, I, I would I would see it in large batteries like like stationary systems or so. But we have not we can, we cannot say anything about the rate capability of a practical system so far, because if you if you want to have it in a cell phone or or, uh, or in a car, then the rate capability is, is 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 a critical factor, and this is something. Uh, we cannot tell at the moment where we will land.